Hey guys, Jeff Jones here. I just wanted to do a quick run through of my kayak and give you some ideas on how you might can set yours up. The color I got is smoke camo. I took all of the black bungee off of the kayak and replaced it with lime green. I got it from a place on Amazon called Paracord Planet. The 3 16th inch fits perfectly where the old stock black bungee goes. The kayak comes stock with a rudder and it's tow controlled. I took the old paracord style rope out of the out of the tow control rudder system and replaced it with rubber coated wire. You can check out Big Yak or TV's channel to see more about how to do that mod. I also have this camera mount here. This is a Railblazer uh, camera mount with an extension. This is one, uh, this is my front camera, and you'll see me holding a lot of fish, uh, taking pictures with that. Uh, I put a I put an anchor trolley on, as you can see, uh, and I only use it with my mud anchor. And actually my mud anchor is what the camera is sitting on that you're seeing me from now. Um, the kayak comes with this very comfortable seat. The only thing I did different on the seat is I added some spacers. This is three quarter inch PVC pipe. Uh, and I put that where all the seat goes. I've got a long piece all the way back across the back. And it sits up about an inch on that PVC. And it really does make a difference. Uh, up front here, this big hatch. I'll show you. I've got two Yak Attack T reins. One holds my pliers, one holds my fish grip. These really come in handy. I really like having these on a tether. I'll never lose them. And they're uh, right there when I need them. In this hatch area, I store all of my soft plastic. And it's all chicken boy. All I use is chicken boy lures. If you haven't tried them, you've got to. They are amazing. On each side, I've got Plano 3600 boxes. Uh, this has got all my terminal tackle, my hooks, my jig heads. On the other side, I've got all my all my top waters. All I fish is jigs and top water. I don't need anything else. I keep my net stored right there under my seat. It's easy to get to, it's out of the way. Pods come stock with two flush mounts. And I've got the two Ram 2008 tubes on the gear track in the back. Uh, those rod tubes are really great, man. I mean, they can go in any position you want. You can do anything. Definitely check out Yak Attack accessories. Also on the back, on the track, I've got a uh, Railblazer Visibility Kit too. Um, this light is, is really nice. I, I really like this light. It's a 360 light. Uh, it's Coast Guard approved. Um, and it's sitting on a Starport HD. It's on a track. Uh, one of the most important things you can have on your kayak is a good quality paddle. I'm using the Bending Branches Angler Ace. Um, this is a carbon fiber shaft and uh, nylon reinforced blades. This thing weighs 31 ounces. That is ultra light. The one I was using before this weighed over 40, and I'm telling you, when I swapped over to it, it was like paddling. It was like not paddling at all. Uh, I'm less fatigued using this paddle. It's great. It's super strong. The response on it is, is it's just awesome. You really need to go try it. Go check out a Bending Branches dealer near you and check out this paddle. The last thing I want to show you is this Vibe Element 20 cooler that I've got. It fits perfectly in the back of my kayak here. Or you can take the seat out and put it up front. Um, this 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 cooler is amazing. It's 20 quarts. It's super nice, easy to clean. It's got a drain hole, bottle opener, a lock, and it's super strong. I mean, I have no problem standing on it, stomping on it, throwing it, uh, whatever you want to do. I mean, it's. It's tough cooler. Well, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you would like this video and subscribe to my channel to see more upcoming great videos. I'm going to be catching a lot of fish. The winter time's coming up. That is my main time to go fishing. A lot of people say, why do you fish in deer season? I say, why do you deer hunt when the fish are biting? So, be sure to be checking that out. I'll be updating videos probably once every two weeks. So uh, 
Take care.